This is the Lexola eStore Ready to Go experiment system for the exploration of various storage systems. The experiments are designed for the lower and upper secondary levels and can be easily transported and set up due to the safe packaging. Various storage media, such as batteries, pumped storage or gas tanks, are becoming increasingly important due to the irregular supply of renewable energy sources in our future. In an example experiment, we would like to examine the behaviour of the voltage during the unloading of different battery types and a capacitor. We determine this indirectly through the speed behaviour of an electric model car. For this we need the base unit with the power module, the electric model car with the appropriate battery adapter, the lead battery, the lithium polymer battery, the nickel metal hydride battery which is already in the battery module, the nickel zinc battery, the lithium iron phosphate battery, the potentiometer, the capacitor, two multimeters, cables, and a power supply. Furthermore, we also need a stopwatch and tape. Now we have all the components for the preparation of our experiment. First, we need to charge the capacitor. To this end, we are building a common charging circuit from a voltage source, capacitor, and resistor. The capacitor and the potentiometer are inserted into the left and middle slot of the base unit. On the potentiometer, we set a resistance of 20 ohms. Thereafter, the circuit is closed by the power module and the power supply is ensured. Since we want to charge the capacitor to a voltage of 4 volts, we put 4 volts on the power module as well. To check the charge level, we connect the capacitor to the multimeter and turn it to the voltage measurement mode. To start charging, we turn on the power module. While the capacitor is being charged, we want to examine the other batteries. To this end, we first take the lead battery and determine its open circuit voltage with the second multimeter. It amounts to 2.01 volts. Then we take the electric car and plug in the battery adapter. Here the lead battery is attached and already connected with a cable to the electric motor. Furthermore, we position the axle of the front of the electric car at an angle so that it drives in a circle later on in our experiment. To determine the speed, we measure the time per lap. In this way, we can assess whether the speed changes per lap or remains the same and later come to a conclusion with the voltage. To establish a round, we have made a starting line with tape. The test will take place on carpeted floor because the speed can overturn the car without sufficient friction. When the start line is ready, we prepare the timing and put the car on the line. Then we lift the car a little bit, secure the second cable to the battery, and immediately start the timing and the car. During the experiment, we record the time for every two rounds.
since the car is not slowing down, we end the test after 10 rounds and pull the red wire out again. After this experiment, we want to use the lithium polymer battery. From this, we can also determine the open circuit voltage. It amounts to 3.79 volts. It is fastened to the car in the same way as the lead battery. When it is ready, we start the test again. As you can see, the car moves faster by far. It doesn't slow down either, and we end the test after 10 rounds. Meanwhile, the capacitor should be finished loading. Its open circuit voltage is approximately 4.04 volts. It is attached to the car like the previous two batteries and put on the starting line. As you can easily see, the car is getting slower as opposed to the batteries. This is confirmed by the lap times. In further experiments, the remaining batteries can be examined in the same way. In summary for our experiment, the two batteries provide a constant speed, whereas the speed continues to decrease with the capacitor. Furthermore, the lead battery produces a lower speed than the lithium polymer battery. In terms of voltage, this means that the batteries maintain their voltage constantly, whereas the capacitor applies a decreasing voltage and that the lead battery voltage, as measured, is less than the voltage of the lithium polymer battery. In addition to this experiment, 25 other experiments can be performed on energy storage systems. For the construction, implementation and possible tasks with sample solutions, see the associated teacher's manual. A reversible fuel cell is in the case as another storage medium. It is a combination of electrolyzer and fuel cell and unlike the other batteries, it illustrates energy storage in the form of hydrogen gas. Furthermore, there is a module with three nickel metal hydride batteries. With this module, the change in voltage and storage capacity in a parallel circuit can be evaluated. As a consumer, there is for one the motor module, and for another a variety of ohmic resistances with 1, 10, 33 and 100 ohms. With the two plug-in modules, up to three resistors can be connected parallel and two modules connected in series. On the accompanying CD are experiment instructions and background information for the teachers and experiment protocols for the students. We wish you lots of fun experimenting.